Hey yo, what's good everybody? I'm TK Lady Day aka 10 Stacks. Welcome to the mix up. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to mix uh, beats on FL Studio the easy way. Get the f out of here, this man! Second intro. Last night I tried um, routing everything into my console. I saw flames. I uh, managed to get the, the mic uh, into my ghost preamps. And then the sound comes out of my interface. I I'm still trying to figure out how to They're route everything today. out, especially when it comes to OBS. So anyway, let's get into it. Hey bros, what's going on? This is, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Cause subscribing makes you feel good. This the beat we're gonna be working on today. Um, I tried mixing beats with like, um, analog emulation plugins on FL Studio with like a limiter on the master channel, you know, and EQs and whatnot, it didn't work out for me because I was trying to act like I'm mixing a song on Pro Tools, so I don't do that anymore. I just do it this way and it sounds doper than the, the method I used before, you know, so I just wanted to show you a quick way to get like a loud beats and dope sounding beats, you feel me? Another dope thing about making beats is sound selection. Be careful of the sounds you choose. Another thing is a frequency placement. A lot of people, when it comes to making beats, they will like play maybe five instruments that have the same frequencies. You feel me? So now everything is masking each other. Every all the frequencies are masking each other. There's no space for the vocals. Uh, I've, I've seen it a lot because I mix other people's songs, you know, so it's really crazy. Like people don't make vocals, don't make space for vocals in terms of their production. You as an engineer, you have to cover out uh, frequencies, you know, just to make space for the vocals, which is, it's, it's the job. But if you want to be a dope producer, make space for the, for the artist. Okay, let's see you better move that goddamn. Hey, you better get that goddamn. Okay, let me just add some effects on the on the guitars. Yeah, man, that's the Valhalla reverb. So, let's do it. Gotta make sure we take out the lows because there's a crazy ass 808 out here, you know. So we're gonna make space for the kick in the 808. Trying to make space for the vocals out here, and then at the same time, I'm also trying to brighten up the guitars. That's uh, without the effect. That's with the effect. Let me just take it down a little bit. Um, Oh, 
Also, I'm trying to close the space with the with the delay, just to make the guitar fuller and bigger. My kick is clipping, so what I usually do, I put a classic clipper from uh, T-Rex, not clipping anymore, and also it sounds a little bit different, but in a dope way. Let's mute the guitar. Let me also do this. Let me move these things. And I like to color my things so that I know if it's a kick or an instrument, you know. Okay. Yes, this is FL Studio, so there's no rules out here. Don't be on some. Yo, but you know, you're clipping, you're supposed to make room. This shit sounds nice. So if it sounds nice, man, just keep it like, leave it like that. Don't do a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. If it sounds nice, you ain't gotta do a lot of things on the 808 or on the kick. You ain't gotta like add effects. That's why you gotta pick the dopest samples, the dopest sounding samples, so that you know you don't do a lot of things. Well, this is on my um, template, on my production. I don't know what to call it, template. So each and every time I open Fruity, this is already set up. My reverb and these two are already set up. This is to check how loud I am. Okay. anything to the snare just I'm just gonna leave it like that
Okay, with the hi hats uh, via the panning, I'm trying to make space. Okay, cool. I'm gonna play the whole beat right now. Um, I'm not gonna arrange it. I'm hella lazy when it comes to arranging beats. <laughs> Let's also try do this. Well, this is how I mix beats on FL Studio, so please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. So when I drop a video, you get the video same time.